Hi, I'm here with David Peasley. Uh, he's doing a groundbreaking research project into uh, potentially Panama disease resistant bananas. And we're here at the part of the block that is dedicated to a, a fruit that has been infected with the disease. Uh, David, would you be able to walk us through what we can see here? Well, you can see the plants have all yellowed off and leaves are drooping, that some have died here. This is a variety that's particularly susceptible called ladyfinger and that's the reason that the ladyfinger industry is virtually dying out in Australia now because of this, it's a race one form of Panama disease. It's different to the one they've got in North Queensland, uh, tropical race four, but you can see the damage it does and the plan, the plan is that's, that's Panama disease. I'll just take a piece out of here. What happens is that the, the fungus is in the soil and it infects the roots through the roots and it comes up in this dark, uh, vas it darkens the vascular tissue. It actually blocks the translocation of nutrients and water so the plant just collapses. So it forms this gumming. Uh, the, the fungus is already in that goes right up to the top of the plant and those see some there but that, that these plants have actually died from that disease now that's the natural level of this fungus in this soil uh, it was planted to lady fingers 35 years ago and they died out with this Panama disease so we replanted back here 35 years later and they're still the fungus is still in the soil. Incredible and basically these serve the purposes of being a test yeah. set compared to the other ones yeah. that, are, that are faring pretty well. If yeah. you look if you look over here you, you see much healthier yeah. green leaves, uh, big bunches. Yep. There's, they're completely resistant to race one these varieties here and that's why we've selected those. Uh, we've used the ladyfinger as our, our uh, sentinel plant just to test for, just to show that there is Panama disease in the soil here. So we know that anything that survives here is going to be resistant. And then potentially you'll have to test whether that is uh, furthermore resistant to tropical race yeah. 4 which yeah. is a more yep. virulent strain. That's right. Is that correct? We've got uh, some good some great hopes about a couple of these varieties. We're going to test them up in Northern Territory um, under conditions where it's tropical race 4 is in the soil. Some of these varieties have been tested overseas against uh, tropical race 4 and they're showing good resistance there. So we're hopeful that these, uh, the information we get here will be transferable to, to uh, other growing countries of the world and North Queensland. Mm. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, all right. Because <laughs> it, it's really um, the crossroads for the Cavendish industry in Australia because uh, it's a matter of time before Tropical Race 4 does infect. Uh, and despite, they're going to slow it down with biosecurity measures and quarantine, but in the end, we have to find a resistant variety that's acceptable for consumers, good productivity, and viable for growers. So that's what this trial's about. Well, let's uh, let's go take a look, perhaps, yep. at some of those other ones. Yeah. 